Alright guys, welcome to your 7th UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about brushes. Now, a brush is a way you can create very basic shapes using the UDK. I'm talking about cubes, spheres, cones, cylinders. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create very basic shapes. Now, before I even get started with this tutorial, I want to mention this. I'm not going to be going over the rest of the interface like I did with the viewport options, and the reason behind that is, all of these options are pretty advanced options we are nowhere near learning this stuff yet so instead of you know jumping into the most advanced stuff first and foremost and instead of overwhelming you guys with stuff that would just confuse you what I'm gonna be doing instead is I'm gonna be learning these options as we go along it it's much more natural and it'll make a lot more sense to learn everything piece by piece instead of throwing everything at you guys at once so that's why I'm not going to be going over these buttons. A lot of them are actually self-explanatory, like save, save as, um, cut and copy. But with all this advanced stuff up here, I'm going to be waiting until the time is right to cover that stuff. So don't freak out. Don't think you missed the video or anything. That's what I'm going to be doing. So with that being said, now is the time that I give you guys an introduction to brushes. Now, these are your brushes over here. And by the way, let me mention this. Whoever named these things brushes they didn't do the best job naming these they probably should have named them shapes or something because whenever I think of brushes I think of Photoshop or you know just me painting a house me wiping a brush with paint on it all these are are basically shapes so whenever I say brush just think in your head shape so the core tutorial behind how you create a basic shape is this you go ahead and you pick pick your shape right here and then whenever you pick your shape you're going to get a red wireframe. That's what these lines are called, a wireframe. It's basically an outline of your shape. So if you went ahead and you picked a staircase, it would be in the shape of a staircase. So let's go ahead and stick with cube right here. And now our red wireframe is going to be in the shape of a cube. So you basically pick your shape, and then you go ahead down here to CSG. Now CSG, the technical term for it is constructive solid geometry again probably the same person named this named brushes because it's not the best name you can give a user it's basically mass or a solid object so let's go ahead down here and click CSG add and whenever we click that we're basically telling the UDK add a solid object in the shape of this brush to our screen so go ahead and click that and as you can see we now have a solid object a cube pretty cool huh so that's the basics of how you create simple shapes. Go ahead and select your shape and click CSG add. Simple enough. So now with that being said, let me tell you guys how you can move these brushes or red wireframe shapes around the screen. Up here at the very top of the UDK are your transform tools. Now the select tool, we'll start with that. The select tool goes ahead and it selects one of your shapes. So if I want to select this cube, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the cube. Now this next tool right here is probably the tool you're going to use most often. That's the translation mode, mode, and that's how you move your basic shape. So go ahead and click that, and you're going to get three arrows. One moves them in the x-axis, one y, and one z. So go ahead and click and hold the green arrow, and as you can see whenever we move it, it just moves it around. It's basically your move tool. That's what I'm going to be calling it, probably your move tool. So go ahead and uh, practice moving your box around, and there you go. Now this next one right here is rotation, and that does exactly like you think. I don't have to explain to you guys what rotation is. Pretty much takes your box and rotates it however you want it. Pretty cool, huh? And this next one right here is the scaling mode. Now you have two different scaling modes. This first one is the uniform scaling. If you go ahead and click and drag, then your cube is going to scale uniformly and by that I mean every axis is going to scale at the same rate now if you want to only stretch it in one direction then you need to use this right here non-uniform scaling whenever you click that you can pull it and only stretches it or scales it in one direction so with those let's see how many with those five tools we can basically get any shape cube we want and we can rotate it and move it any place we want so that is the basics of how you create a basic shape and the different transform tools that you can use in order to customize your shape. 
So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking more about brushes and some other nitty gritty details with them. But for now, that's all you guys get. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.